Ah, geek out. Pinkies up. It's time for another geek out book club. This time we've got an advanced review for the Image Comics book Pop Gun War Volume One by Farrell Dalrymple comes out Wednesday, May 11th in comic shops everywhere and on Comicsology. Uh, this one's just me and Jake. Jake, what did you think of this uh, this fine this fine book? It was uh, it was interesting. I mean, there's we were kind of talking about it a little bit before off mic, grabbing our coffee as we do, which is very podcast of ourselves. Mm. If and, only we recorded in Seattle. Yeah, right. <laughs> um, but it's one of those things. I feel like we say it a lot, but I, I I mean it truly with the art on this book. I really, really loved the kind of. It was almost kind of like this, um, like the like this scratch black and white kind of. Well, it started uh, out as a comic strip. Yeah, and it's really striking. I mean, the first couple of pages of the book, as you'll see, like when you really get into the story, there's no dialogue. You know, you're just following this kid around. Um, and just, it is, we were saying though, it's also kind of like this really kind of depressing story. There is, it's a kid that's very kind of like the main character, Sinclair. Mm -hmm. Um, he's very, he's got his own social hangups and his own anxieties, but it's very clear from this book that like everybody in this little neighborhood does. Yeah. Either they take it out on others or they're like not comfortable being like an artist or, or something to that effect. There's a goldfish man. There's a goldfish man. I was going to say, I was just about to say before, before we say goldfish man that like how that because of that being the story, it's such an easily relatable thing for anyone who's reading it. You know what I mean? It's very easy to relate to, to the characters in the book. I also like kind of the, you know, the city feel to it that again works with the art. Um, and yeah, I mean, I, I liked it, but yeah, there's, there's, there's just that bit of, um, Underto- undercurrent of kind of that the kind of bummed out feeling when you're reading it. But I mean, it, uh, indie books, I feel like the uh, indie type books really kind of have that and it works to its advantage uh, at the same time. So, Yeah, I mean, I think it definitely kind of, yeah, it has that kind of like indie sensibility that mm-hmm. kind of, um, though now that I'm thinking about it, I'm wondering if it if it did start out as a strip, but the um, there's definitely... It, it feels definitely, like it did. It, yeah, and um, you know, I, I think... They like again with Goldfish Man. There's definitely kind of a surreal quality to it. That, I mean, that helps too. I mean, the kid, you know, Sinclair has wings. You know, yeah. I mean, that's um, right there on the cover. Yeah, and so like we were saying, but you know, because it's surreal doesn't mean it's not relatable. Because I think, like we were saying, the indie sensibility really helps. I think that's why those the, people really love the indie books as well. You know, like yeah. that sensibility to her. Because keep saying sensibility is because you know, you can latch on to these characters and, and put yourself into their shoes right. or, you know, feel the feelings they're feeling more, more so than maybe, you know, you would with a superhero. Or yeah, I mean, even as out, you know, outlandish as the book can get with Goldfish Man and like <laughs> a, a, like a Rasputin figure yeah. or someone losing their head and still being like alive and the main character having wings. Yeah. There's very real emotions. There's very kind of, it's kind of a real commentary on, on anxiety, really. Yeah. Um, and kind of communicating and living with others in such a tight space. And the layout's, really help with that anxiety factor too yeah Darumple does the art too yeah yeah because yeah. i i i uh i can't stress enough how much i really dug the art yeah you know it's and and i feel like again with indie stuff it helps like there's something with the art too that i don't know if there's like something more to it uh, being kind of like that you know the, you know being the writer director you know all all of it above yeah kind of like meredith grand and octopus Pie. yeah there's there's something that you get that you just don't you know and that's not bashing people who just draw or artists but or guys that just write. Or guys just write. But there's just something when you com- com- completely own. Yeah. The it's like a it's like a Paul you know like when Paul Thomas Anderson you know right you know or Quentin Tarantino there's just a little bit of that kind of like signature to it. Yeah. Um. Well, yeah. Where you have the complete vision behind it. Mm-hmm. Um. You know. And I think the uh, I think even though we were talking about that it can be kind of melancholy and kind of bummed out. Yeah. There is kind of an inspirational element to it as oh, well. Oh yeah. Yeah. I don't yeah. want to get across that like you'll just feel super depressed reading the book but i mean like that's part of part of the book yeah that he kind of has to rise against i mean v- yeah. both uh metaphorically and figuratively with the you know yeah. wings i also really like the covers oh yeah there's that really great cover of the uh, uh with the uh white uh telecaster yeah. yeah and you know this uh this collects the um the first five issues of uh pop gun war so you know again out everywhere in stores May 11th or on Comixology, so definitely, you know, definitely give it a give it a go cuz you know, it we it gets our seal of approval. So yeah, this has been another uh, you know, geek out uh, book club. Uh, did I call it a commentary going in? 
I don't remember. No, we'll, we'll do about I. The, we'll the, yeah, we'll find we'll, out we'll in the, we'll we out. listen to the mix. But yeah, the, uh, yeah. so uh, I'm Sam. I'm Jake. Yeah, keep reading. Bye. This has been another Geek Out production. If you enjoyed what you heard, hey, you know, we've got a new commentary every Monday. We've got a special episode every Friday. Of course, there's the usual catching up show every Wednesday. And you get book club episodes just about every Tuesday these days. Thanks for listening.